In this video, we are going to look at the basic logarithmic rules. So we know that a log function is represented in this form. So I can have log of base b x is equals to y. So we are going to be calling this b here as the base. Okay, so the b is the base. And then we are going to be calling the x as what is in the middle. Okay, what is in the middle. And then we are going to be calling that y as our answer. Okay, so when we do log base bx, we are going to get a y. So we are going to be referring to this y as the answer, this x as what is in the middle, and then this b here as the base. Okay, alright, so there are a number of rules that you must be aware of when we talk about um, the, the logs. Okay, there are a number of rules. So we are going to discuss all those rules. So the first one is the one that says if I have log base b of b, okay, this one here is the same as 1. So as long as the base here is equals to what is in the middle, then, uh, then it means your, your answer there should always be 1. So example, if I have log of 10 and 10, this will be 1. Log of 100. 100 will be 1 okay log base 50 of 50 will just be 1 so as long as the base and what is in the middle is the same then the answer should always be equals to what 1 so that is the first rule and then the second rule okay will be this one so if I have log log of any base let's say the base be of uh, 1 this here will always be equals to uh, 0 okay so it doesn't matter the base that you have here as long as what is in the middle is 1 then your answer should always be 0 okay so for example log base 10 of 1 this is going to be 0 okay log base 100 of 1 this is going to be 0 log base 50 of 1 this is going to be 0 so it doesn't matter the base that you have there as long as what is in the middle here is 1 then that logarithmic function will, will be equals to, to a 0 okay so the next one uh, number 3 of the uh, rules of logarithmic function will be the one okay that allows us to drop the power so it's called the power rule so for example if I have log of base b x to the power n this will be the same as okay i'm going to drop this power on n here i'm going to drop it in front here so it will be n log base b of x okay so if we have a log and then uh, we have an expression which is raised to a certain power we can drop that power in front like that okay so this here will be the third rule that we are going to be using okay so in some other books you see it as n log bx and then they say you can uh, actually raise the power okay here i was saying drop the power you can also raise the power so this means to be log of base b and then x to the power what n so that is the third uh, law that you must be aware of Let's look at the fifth one and the fourth one. Okay, so the fourth one will be a rule that will involve the addition and multiplication of logs. So if I have log of base b, p, and then plus log of the same base b, q, this here is the same as log base b, since we have the same base there, okay? log base b of p multiplied by q so as long as this and this are the same base we can write it in that form and then the other one will be involving um, will be involving subtraction and division so if i have log of uh, base b okay log of base b p and then minus log of base b q this here is the same as log 
of base B and then here we're going to do P divided by what Q so because we are subtracting we just have to divide P and Q there okay so that is the fourth and uh, the fifth rule when we're dealing with these logarithmic function okay and then we have another special rule okay that states the following so we're going to say number six it says that if I have B been raised to log of base B okay and then I have uh, a certain number K here okay so this here will just be the same as K okay so log raised to power log B and then K okay will just be the same as K alright so in some questions you'll be using this uh, rule here so this rule if we give an example let's say we have 2 raised to power log 2 okay of 7 this here will just be equals to what 7 because these two and the base there in the log are the same okay so that will just be equals to what 7 so those are the basic rules that you must know concerning the, the logarithmic what function Okay, so another rule is a rule that involves changing the base of a, of a logarithmic function. So remember I said if I have log base b and then uh, let's say a, then this is equals to y. Okay, so we can change this base b here to another base. So let's say we want to change this log to base c. c. Okay, from this base c, b to base c. So what rule are we going to use? So we have two, um, okay, we have two rules that we can use, okay. So let's say this a here is c. Let me put c there so to match this guy. So if we want to change from this log b here to log c, we are going to say log base b of c is the same as, okay, log of the new base c okay and then after that I'll multiply with what I can see in front here which is C and then I'm going to divide all this by log the new base again which is base C and then I'm going to multiply by the former base there which is B so that will be uh, B like that okay so we see that from here what we have on top there is log CC so we said if the base is the same with this uh, we, we are just going to have what? 1 over log C B. Okay, so which means that if we want to change the base and then we have, uh, let's say we have log base B C, okay, and then we want to change to this base C, okay. Since this C is in this same expression here, we are just going to say that will be always be equals to 1 over log and then the new base C and then we multiply by b like that okay so we exchange these two so if we exchange these two then we just put a one over that uh, same thing okay but in general it's going to be like this okay in general it's going to be like this so let's say uh, this is log base b a equals to y and then i want to change this to base c k okay if i want to change this to log uh, to base k i'm just going to say log b a is equals to log and then now let's put the new base so the new base is k okay so when you put the new base k there you're going to multiply okay with the first a there that you can see so it will be a and then divided by okay and then down there we're going to have log of the new base again which is the k okay and then in front there we're going to put the former base there which is b Okay. so we are going to be using this formula okay in general to change the base okay from base B to base K like we have done there all right so another rule that involves the logarithmic function is the rule that changes this logarithmic function to an exponential okay so remember we said um, remember we said uh, if I have for example okay log of base b x being equals to y okay we said the, the b here will be the base okay
okay so we're going to say the base let me change the color we're going to say the base is going to be the B okay and then we said this Y here represented what we call as what is in the middle okay so what is in the middle we're going to give us a, a symbol M okay so um, symbol M to represent what is in the middle which is X and then this Y we get it is the answer to this logarithmic function so we're going to say A is equals to what Y so we have base what is in the middle and then the answer there okay so if we want to convert this logarithmic function to an exponential function we are going to be using the mnemonic BAM okay we're going to be using the mnemonic BAM here so this BAM here simply means base to the power answer is equals to what is in the middle so I have base which is B to the power answer Y should be equals to what is in the middle X so I'm going to say base to the power answer is equals to what is in the middle so this here is the formula that we're going to be using okay to convert a logarithmic function into an exponential function okay base to the power answer is equals to what is in the middle so that's basically it about the the rules of uh, logarithmic functions so now what we are going to do is that in the next videos we are going to be solving questions involving the application of all these rules that we've learned okay so i have a lot of questions here the first one here will be expressing uh, all these logarithmic function in exponential form here we'll be expressing these logarithmic function uh, this ex exponential functions in logarithmic form here we're going to ev to be evaluating without using the calculator just using the basic rules okay here we're going to be rewriting this complex log into one okay and then here we'll solve um, okay so, so even here we are just expressing this into one and then here we'll solve some logarith uh, exponential functions and then here we're going to solve uh, logarithmic functions so check out my next videos in order to have access to the videos where I'll be solving all these questions okay if you need two shows inbox me on the number in the description there where I'm pointing all right so thank you so much and enjoy the rest of your day